Now, new research indicates Somalia's economy is improving. However, on the downside, it shows a decline in public confidence in the government, which has been in office for barely two years. CGTN's Abdulaziz Billo breaks down the numbers for us. The findings of this new report focused on security and the country's economy. It's the first research of its own kind to be unveiled in Mogadishu. Farsight Africa Research launched the new report in partnership with Ipsos, a leading global market research company. And when it comes to security, you can, have, you can see uh, comparing the regions, for example, in Garawe or Adado or other areas such as uh, Kismayo, the level of confidence in terms of is the government doing uh, what they need to do in terms of security. There is a higher confidence in those regions. But when it comes to Mogadishu, we have the lowest, where 35% of the people uh, believe only that the government is committed to do anything about security. Al Shabaab has claimed responsibility for most attacks in the country, including Monday's deadly car bomb that targeted an Italian army convoy mentoring the country's army. Mogadishu has been the epicenter of most attacks, including a deadly truck bomb last year that claimed close to a thousand lives, the single most deadly attack in the country's modern day history. The survey noted lack of improvement in securing the capital, despite several attempts by security agencies to thwart major attacks against high value targets in the city. This will give a base for a discussion, a political discussion whether the country is going move for, moving forward, is the government doing enough about the security, uh, is the government doing uh, enough about the corruption. So stimulate some sort of discussion and, and trying to move away that politics is based between only the opposition and the government. Overall, the research painted a positive image of the country's economy that is forecasted to grow at an average of 4% over the coming years. Recent financial reforms in the country also saw more financial support for the Somali government, including 100 million euro budget support from the EU and 80 million grants are fast in more than three decades from the World Bank. Tackling corruption and nationwide reconciliation are also expected to be among the key issues of concern for Mogadishu. A recent fallout between the central government and regional administrations was also put on focus. Researchers also noted that regional leaders enjoy less popularity after a recent move to suspend ties with Mogadishu a month ago. Researchers also noted a sharp decline in approval ratings for the president and his prime minister. President Farmaju's ratings went down 19% from 86 last year to 67% this year. The PM's ratings dipped from 83 to 62%, while that of his cabinet dropped significantly from 86 in 2017 to 49% at present. Meanwhile, healthcare, unemployment and education remained the key areas of interest for the vast majority of the Somali public. Abdul Aziz Bilo, CGTN, Mogadishu, Somalia.